cities are places where we can look closely at the everyday phenomenon of life because there's so much of it happening around us. It's a very exciting time to be studying cities today because uh, of the very recent availability and, and the imminent uh, far greater availability of very large amounts of data. What's amazing about the big data boom is that we're developing a better understanding of how our city works. Never before have we been able to measure in such detail how our buildings and infrastructure operate. Information that used to be locked up in filing cabinets is now available in digital form. So we can start to study things like well, why does crime occur in one area and not another? Why does one neighborhood uh, decline? Why does another neighborhood grow? The goal of the Data Science for Social Good Fellowship is really to take data scientists and train them to work on problems that actually matter. So what we wanted to do was build this hybrid person who has all these different skills but also understands how to take real problems, communicate with people about those problems, solve them, and then help figure out a way to transfer and transition those solutions into the real world. So they went from thinking of a spreadsheet or a database as a data set to actual people behind them, actual stories. The Master of Science in Computational Analysis and Public Policy is a program designed to create the next generation of leaders in data-driven, evidence-based policymaking. There's no other public policy school in the country that's offering a degree like this. None of our competitors are. Um, so this is the first of its kind to really be a fully joint integration between computer science and public policy in a way that's going to train people in a serious way in both disciplines. Intellectually, this is an exciting time to be starting a program like this because while people have recognized the importance of data for public policy for many years, what's new today is the ability to use data and access data almost in real time. Lakeside is an approximately 600 acre site that is on the southeast side of Chicago. It is a former U.S. steel factory site and now it is a brownfield. That means that there are a lot of opportunities down there to develop the site and really make it one of the most sustainable areas in the city of Chicago. Lakeside is in size and scope unprecedented in the United States and the lessons that can be learned from this sort of project are the way in which social scientists can engage and collaborate with computer scientists, with physicists, with architects, and with developers to think about how to create a community that enhances the health and social life of its residents. When you start looking at these larger systems, the interdependencies become much more intricate. So for instance, if we plan the energy infrastructure a little bit differently, how could that then impact how the, the buildings on the site are designed? Or how could that impact the water infrastructure? So we want to look at, if we pull different levers, how does that then impact different systems within the site? MAPS Corps is meaningful, active, productive science and service to community. And this is a program that is developing youth, training youth, and employing youth on the south side of Chicago. Their job is to identify every business and organization open and operating for the public, offering goods, services, or jobs that we can use to be a healthier community and more vital community. Community Rx is an innovation that's connecting the data that the youth are collecting to healthcare. Community Rx injects information into the doctor patient encounter through the electronic medical record. And the data engine for Community Rx are the youth, the MAPS Core program. Chicago City of Big Data is an exhibition at the Chicago Architecture Foundation, which opens in March 2014. The City of Big Data will use Chicago's data-driven initiatives as a starting point for understanding what urban data is and how it might impact how we design and live. It's about taking the tools that we have, the scientific tools, the computation tools, the data that we have at our disposal, and using those to make cities and to make lives easier, to make the city easier to navigate, to make the city work better for people. What we learn that can improve city living, can make cities healthier, safer, can affect the lives of hundreds of millions of people around the world.